PMPLS is the multi protocol label switching router and is widely used in Gulf countries in Europe and in subcontinent as well. It has the following functions. So first we start from its test descriptions for Nokia IPMPLS. From the board hot plug test to NMS test, we perform 17 tests during its commissioning procedure. And this course is important for your interview point of view. So start from the description of Nokia IPMPLS. First one is the media dependent adapter MDA card. As you see, that MDA card is installed at the top and you can check some interfaces into it. That interfaces give some connectivity to the patch codes and that fiber is installed in SFP and it gives the 10 GE SFP plus 12 PTGE SFP. It has the 12 slot box and it can take up 10 line cards and can support up to 100 Gbps interfaces. For the STM1 and STM14 it can also support the legacy. As you know STM1 is equal to 155 Mbps and you can multiply 155 to 4 and it can give you the 2048 Mbps as well. This one is the node connectivity diagram. Sites are connected from microwave to microwave and that fiber is going into the CSG Nokia router and from the CSG Nokia router it's going into the edge router at the separate fiber optic network site. So Nokia IPMPLS has the version TMOS R16 R1-1 for interview point of view. Now this media dependent adapter gives connectivity for the interfaces in which we connect the SFPs through patch codes and uh, that patch code is going into the ODF usually MDA card has a two version main and the standby and protection one plus one meaning that if your main card fail you can shift your load onto the standby card to avoid the outage procedure and uh, how to perform board hot plug test simply you type those commands show chases show card show MDA and first you eject the MDA card as well when you eject the MDA card you may verify its result if the result shown as that card is in off state after ejecting its out from the board then it's good but if it's showing some abnormality it means your hardware has some problems and now you insert that card back into the board and check the same commands show chases show card and show MDA if your card showing again some abnormality it means it has some issues in its hardware and your MDA card test results gradually fail next one is the power module redundancy test which means you have to verify the power supply units both for the main and the standby power as we know that router provides redundancy backup for DC power supply one is the main power supply and the second one is the backup power supply so one by one we plug out the power supply units first we uh, plug out the main power supply and check its working status and then we insert it back and check whether our power supply is running normally or not and the same procedure we do for the second backup power supply as well if our expected results showing us that your power supply is running normally then your test is passed otherwise it fail gradually and next we check the voltage for that power supply it must be minus 48 volt because minus 48 volt DC is the requirement for our power supply unit next one is the switching module redundancy test which we perform on control processing module known as the CPM card of the router and we know that control processing module provide us the redundancy backup in one plus one which means the main CPM card and the standby CPM card and the function of CPM card is to provide the control processing plane functions for the whole router 
and it performs the signal signal flow and process functions for the whole router. Back to the point, we start the switching module redundancy test by applying the following commands show card, show chases, show system alarms and the last point we keep pinging that loopback address. As we manually eject that CPM card and then we type the same commands and perform that switching module redundancy test to check whether the CPM is running normally in working mode or in offline mode as well. That card will show some results like this. If your card is up, it will show this status like that. If your card is running abnormally, it will show the status as down. That operational status has been checked for both cards like CPM A and CPM B. Next test is system reboot power off test, which means you have to power off the device Nokia 7750 A4 router and then powered on it. After that, you will type the same commands for Nokia SRA4 router like admin display configure, show log ID 99, 98, system information, show version which is IPMP LS SRA4 and the router interfaces. We verify After the configuration reboot, status if our configuration is lost and we observe error in our memory then our system reboot test gradually failed. So in order to verify that system reboot powered off test your configuration must not be lost at some point and your hardware memory observed no more errors. So that test is considered as pass.